I'm Dr. Nathan Way, and uh, the purpose of this video is to talk about uh, tissue regeneration. The purpose of tissue regeneration is to renew and repair cartilage loss, as well as to repair damaged tendons and ligaments. Uh, now, the reason I'm so passionate about this is that uh, my training is, is in rheumatology. I'm a board certified rheumatologist, and most of uh, my training has been directed at autoimmune disorders such as rheumatoid arthritis, uh, where uh, we've been able to develop medications that can get diseases like rheumatoid arthritis into remission. But for more common conditions such as osteoarthritis and various tendon and ligament problems, we haven't been so fortunate. And so for these degenerative processes, all we really have are some of the old standbys that we've been using for the last 50 to 60 years, uh, uh, the purpose of which are to reduce pain, um, and uh, make life livable uh, to a certain extent. So we use anti-inflammatory medications, steroid injections, rooster comb injections, uh, physical therapy, and um, if things get really bad, we, we ask our orthopedic colleagues uh, to, to operate. Uh, and, and that really is not satisfactory, particularly uh, since baby boomers are, are getting to be middle-aged and older and uh, are suffering from these problems uh, of, of tissue degeneration. So uh, if, if tissue uh, degeneration reaches a point where the tendon or ligament or cartilage is shot, uh, it should be possible to, to offer more uh, than just uh, uh, surgery. So what we need to do is think about how can we reverse this process of cartilage uh, degeneration and, and tendon and ligament degeneration. Well, we have a model from nature, and that is, uh, for instance, if you cut an earthworm in half, what happens? Well, that earthworm regenerates the other half of its body. Uh, if you cut yourself, you heal. So what would happen if we could multiply that effect, that healing effect, a million fold? Well, it, it probably is possible now to, to think about doing that because um, we have what are called mesenchymal stem cells. These are uh, multipotent uh, cells, meaning uh, these are cells that can become any kind of tissue and they're present in our, our bone marrow. So uh, uh, any person at any age has these cells available. Uh, you can think of these uh, mesenchymal stem cells as being seeds. Now, Seeds by themselves won't really function unless they have fertile soil. So in addition to the mesenchymal stem cells, uh, we use uh, what's called platelet-rich plasma, or PRP, a component of blood that contains platelets, which have a lot of growth and healing factors, uh, which serve as sort of a soil to help our seeds grow. Um, in addition, uh, both PRP and stem cells uh, together are probably not enough if we're dealing with very difficult uh, uh, degeneration problems. So we need to, to provide a, a framework or matrix. Uh, so uh, we uh, are able to now use uh, a person's own fat cells uh, to serve as that matrix. And uh, what's interesting is that fat also contains stem cells itself. So if we combine uh, the seeds, the soil, uh, a matrix, uh, we then need a, a proper delivery system. Uh, I know that there's some centers out there that inject stem cells blindly. That's not the way to do it. Um, uh, what we should be doing is treating uh, a patient's condition in a regional manner. Uh, because, for, uh, for instance, if you take a patient who has osteoarthritis of the knee, cartilage itself doesn't have nerves. So the reason a patient's knee hurts is because uh, the joint capsule itself is irritated. So you have to treat the whole region in addition to treating the joint. And the same goes with any kind of uh, tendon problems such as rotator cuff tendonitis and, and things uh, of that nature. So I, I know that there's, uh, again, uh, other centers that, that uh, use different types of imaging uh, procedures. Some inject blindly, some superimpose an MRI scan on top of an x-ray. And I, I suppose that's all well and good, but it's, it's not ideal. You need to be able to look at the area that you're treating in real time, be able to move that area, uh, and, and uh, be able to target the area uh, that you need to treat. And the best way to do that is with diagnostic ultrasound. So um, you need uh, an accurate way uh, of delivering the system, which is uh, done with uh, diagnostic ultrasound, and here we can move uh, whatever uh, part we're treating and, and actually see um, the, the, the disease process from different angles, which helps us uh, with uh, our, our, our stem cell or, or PRP 
uh, treatment approach. Now, what the whole purpose of using these things uh, is to create healing. And the first step in healing is inflammation. So when we actually in induce an injury first, we then deliver our payload, uh, the stem cells, the PRP, um, and the matrix, the framework that the stem cells and PRP hold on to, and we do it with ultrasound guidance. Um, the, uh, the other plus with ultrasound uh, is that there's no harmful radiation, uh, as there might be uh, if you use uh, uh, x-ray or fluoroscopy or any of those other things. In fact, our technique is so specialized and so uh, successful in, in treating these uh, processes that we uh, uh, have actually uh, termed um, our, our technique uh, the guided missile technique. Missile standing for mesenchymal stem cell layering technique. So I hope this video has been uh, uh, a value to you and I hope you've enjoyed watching it.